realize one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. Shout out D on the track. Paint Music Media. Shout out DJ Lee Productions. And I'm Al Ken. But if you a game changer, get my Let's head go. I say it often. Matter of fact, I may say it all the time. 
but I really do mean it this time. Not that I did mean it those other times, but I really do mean it this time. I missed you guys. I really missed you guys, and I'm so glad to have you here with me one more time another Sunday. Wow, it's been a long, trying week for me. But I'm here. By the grace of God, I'm still here. I'm still standing. Well, technically, I'm sitting down, but y'all know what I mean. I'm still here, man. I'm telling you, and I am ready to help you tonight. Again, I do this not for me. I do it for you. I want to be a blessing and not a curse, okay? Right now, let's jump right into it, the outer order. Outer order, I tell you what, it is a staple of the Sunday with nuts with drink. Now, uh, outer order could be you. It could be a family member. It could be a uh, a friend, someone you work with, a um, stranger that you would meet at the local grocery store or at the bank or somebody you see as you're walking through the park on a beautiful fall day. I tell you what, it is our obligation, it's our duty to point things out and situations out to people that are out of order so we can do what? Get them back in order, all right? Now, again, if you don't recognize uh, at least one of these and somebody you know, you know what? That's because you don't know yourself. It's you. You're the one out of order. So get in order. Who's going out of order? Uh, number one, out of order. Number one, if you buy a big screen TV for your room at the homeless shelter, you out of order. You know, that don't make no doubtful sense. First of all, you're in a homeless shelter. Why are you buying a big screen TV? Do you not, you know, these people ain't going to let you. you they ain't going to put you on no lease at the homeless shelter. Why are you doing that? You're throwing your money away. You need to be spending that money so you can get your own apartment, your own place. Then you can buy your big screen TV to put in your own place, but not in a homeless shelter. Come on, people. Think. You out of order. Get that thing in order. Number two. Out of order. Ooh. Now, you claim you are too proud to get on government assistance, but you have no problem standing on the street corner begging for money. Come on now. Come on. I'm just saying. You out of order. Get that thing in order. Number three, out of order. Look here. Halloween is just around the corner, and they say that Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But now, come on now. If this is you, you out of order. Number three, if you're so ugly that this Halloween, your kids are going to dress up as you, you out of order. You are out of order. They don't even need no makeup. They're the skin, folks, walking around with just a, a picture of you uh, on notebook paper taped uh, to their face with the eyes uh, uh Poked out so they can see. Come on now. Do something about that. Number four, if this is you, you out of order. Look here. If you are holding your seven year old son in your high school senior picture, now I understand things happen. You know, people, you know, and, and, and women, you know, some of these girls, y'all, y'all get pregnant, and, and, and that ain't your fault. Two, it takes two to tango. But now, come on, I know you're proud of your baby, and you're proud that you made it through high school to get your high school diploma, but you know what? The baby ain't got to be in a doggone picture. Matter of fact, I don't even think you got his permission to put him in the picture. Did you ask him? He might not want that kind of attention or exposure uh, at this point in his life. He's too young for it. Cut that out. Get that thing in, now, in order because you're out of order. Uh, here we go. Uh, number five, if this is you, you're out of order. Look here. Now, with these cell phones and everything, these iPhone 15s, these Galaxy 93s, I mean, these cell phone prices are getting out of hand. People are even renting these. Uh, you, you, you're making payments on a cell phone. I don't know about you, but I think that's just stuck on stupid. That's paused on pathetic. Now, if you can't afford your cell phone, if you got a cell phone bill and you paying a bill to buy a cell phone, you got two cell phone bills. What idiot pays two bills for one thing? I'm just saying. Anyway. If this is you, you out of order. If your cell phone bill is more than your rent, why don't you go live at T-Mobile? Why don't you go live at AT&T or Sprint? Better yet, see if Boost Mobile will let you camp out in their bathroom. Huh? Ask Cricket can you stay in their uh, storage shed. Idiot. Get your priorities straight. Get that thing back in order. Number six, 
If this is you, you out of order. If you put makeup on your seven-year-old daughter, you know what? Who are you sending her to school to impress? The teacher? What the? I'm going to leave that alone because that's my <laughs> Okay. Anyway, uh, here he is. Number seven. If this is you, you showing up out of order. Now, if you want to brush your teeth, but you will spray uh, white paint on them to make them white. Come on now. Your breath still nasty. Exactly. Uh, no, man. If this is you, you out of order. You know, if your hair is so nasty that you got to take pain pills before you comb it, you know what? That you might you, you might want to consider just going bald and keeping it that way, okay? Because there's some type of nappy that won't make you happy, okay? Moving right along. Uh, number nine, again, I want to be a blessing. Another curse. I'm happy y'all tonight. I can feel it. Number nine. If your skin is so rough that uh, it looks like your uh, body been deep fried, if your body... If your body looks like it's been deep fried, then your skin got to be rough. It's got to be bubbled up and bumped up. That don't make no, no, no sense. Why don't you lotion yourself up? Why don't you get a, a, a giant fingernail file and just scrub on your body? Okay? Again, I, I sense somebody got mad on that one. I apologize. But, again, I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for you. Get that thing on. Number 10, look here. If your underarms smell like vinegar. Okay, look here. If your underarms smell like vinegar, boy, you got you got a problem for real. Okay, you got a problem for you. If you if if you walking around and, and 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 you raise your arm and your underarm pit smell like massing gear, you don't make no doggone sense. You nasty. And, and, and you need to soap up. Okay, get that thing in order. Walk around. They can, you know, a man, you you a man. You walk around smell like massing gear dust uh, up under your armpits. That don't make no doggone sense. Get that thing right. Get that thing in order. Again, I want to be a blessing, not a curse. I ain't here to hurt nobody. I'm here to help somebody. Now, here it is right here now. Look here. This right here, uh, again, and, and I want to be a blessing, not a curse. Uh, look here. This one right here <laughs> is I'm a thug. This segment is the I am a thug segment. Now, a lot of y'all out there don't know y'all are thugs. A lot of y'all out there don't know you're living a thug life, okay? Y'all believe that, you know, that, that y'all doing right. Y'all believe that y'all living a normal life. This is what everybody do. No, it ain't. I got news flash for you. You living a thug life, and it ain't cute. And, and, and I don't care what Tupac say, heaven ain't got no ghetto. You're going to go to hell. Heaven ain't got no ghetto. Ain't no milk and honey in the ghetto. It's cockroaches and rats. You got some spoiled milk, but it ain't no, uh, heaven ain't got no uh, ghetto in it. So quit living a thug life, okay? Again, it might it might be you. It might be a family member. might be a friend. might be somebody you work with, somebody you meet at your local uh, grocery store, at the bank, or as you're walking through the park on a beautiful fall day watching the leaves turn as they hit the ground. Look here. Stop your thugging. Here it is. I'm a thug, number one. Look here. I'm a thug. I got my armpit hair sewn in. You know it's going to hurt when you go to shave your armpit. You just, anyway, number two, I'm a thug. I was suspended from home school. How the hell? Think about that. You're so thuggish. It's, they suspend you from home school. That means your parents basically just put your butt out. You as a thug, you old thug, uneducated thug. Uh, move right along, and I'm a thug. All right, here we go. Number three, I'm a thug. I got caught cheating on my DNA test. You know what? Boy, you, boy, you slow down dirty, and you a thug for real. Number four, I'm a thug. I quit drinking. And save my money so I can be able to buy more weed to smoke. I don't know why, but for some reason that makes sense to me. All right, then. Number five, I'm a thug. 
I got fired from my job as a 911 operator for telling people ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> you a thug for real. You a thug. These people call you with their problems. You talking about ain't nobody got time for that. But you know that that's your job. What's wrong with you? These people are calling because their life might be in danger. You talking about ain't nobody got time for that. What? <laughs> Whoa, Lord Jesus. Ooh, wait. You're a thug for real. Here we go. Uh, number six. I'm a thug. I wrote a bad check to pay my church tithe. You know what? Boy, you're oh, 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 you going, boy, you, you're a hell-bound thug for that one. You sure enough here's the hell. You wrote, you intentionally wrote a bad check to pay the Lord. You going to try to pay the Lord with a bad check? What the? <laughs> oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. That, you know, that would be equivalent to uh, one of the disciples snatching food off of Jesus' plate while he was blessing the Last Supper. You're a low-down, dirty thug for real. You're you an evil thug. I don't make no doggone sense. Move right along. I'm about to, my blood pressure going up on that one. Uh, here it is right here. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I'm a thug. The last time I took a woman out to dinner, I picked up the check, put it in her lap. You know what you are. You're a thug right there. And you cheat. And you're a cheap thug for that one. I don't make no doggone sense. you going to pick up the check, tell me I got it, and then put it in her lap. Say, so now you got it. Tag you in. You know what? <laughs> y'all, thugs is out. y'all thugs is going wild. Thugs gone wild. That's what you is. You's a wild thug, untamed. Lord Jesus, boy, these mm, again. I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for y'all. Quit thugging. Don't make no doggone sense. <sighs> again, uh, I just wanna. Uh, I wanna be a blessing, not a curse. And this is right here. Wee. I'm a thug. I sell pork chop sandwiches in front of the Muslim temple. You know what? That right there get you stabbed. That you know, Sarah Khan to come out there and fist fight you. <laughs> you want Sarah Khan to fist fight you? You outside of the temple and the Muslim temple selling pork chop sandwiches and bratwurst? What's wrong with you? Oh boy, uh, boy, boy, you thugs, boy, y'all better watch out. You quit playing with people. Quit playing with people. Thugging out like that. And again, I want to be a blessing or a curse. Now I'm trying to help y'all. Quit this thugging. Whew. Now, this one right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this segment right here is the make that make sense segment. You know what? A lot of things that people do, uh, 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 a lot of things that people think, it just, it just don't make no sense. It don't. People be saying stuff and doing stuff, and you, you look at them and you wonder, why are they doing that? What possessed them to think like that? Why would they act in a way like that? What? What caused them to behave in such a manner? It makes no sense. But you know what? They, what? Well, it makes sense to them. It don't have to make sense to you. But I'm going to tell you right now, this segment is make that make sense. Make it make sense to me. Forget all the other people. Y'all, make it make sense to me. Number one. Mm-mm-mm. You park your ice cream truck outside of Weight Watchers group meeting. Make that make sense. Why you won't touch them people? Don't make no doggone sense. Number two, your dermatologist got bad skin. What? Make that make sense. What? Number three, you standing in line to sign up for food stamps. I was just standing in line all night to buy the new Jordan. Make that make sense. So you you in two lines. One to spend money, and the other one to bag for it. You know, make that make sense. You at a buffet restaurant drinking a Diet Coke. You know what? <laughs> it don't, you know what? That don't even sound right. All you can eat in a Diet Coke. <sighs> Lord Jesus, make that make sense. Number five, make that make sense. Why you got a hair weave sewn into your wig? Why would you sew in hair into a wig? 
You mean to tell me you wanted a wig with a bald spot? What you, you gonna put an added piece onto a wig? Why don't you just get a long wig? Make that make sense. Right. Number six, make that make sense. Why did you call 911 and ask for help paying your phone bill so you can call somebody if you need help? Huh? Make that make sense. You know what? Number seven, make that make sense. Why are you going around accusing your landlord of stealing your rent every first of the month? You know what? <laughs> you know what? You know what? That man is stealing your rent money. That's his rent money. You stand it. You stand in his place. He rented it to you. Every month he's supposed to get money from you. He ain't stealing it. Somebody he come in my house and I ain't there and he just grabbed the rent money. He don't even tell. He, a lot of times he don't tell me when he coming to get it. He just show up on the first every month. You know what? Lord Jesus, make that make sense. That don't make no sense. Look at number eight. Make that make sense. Why are you sitting in the back of the church reading the Playboy magazine? Okay. Talking about you trying to see what Adam and Eve would look like. <laughs> number nine. Make that make sense. Why are you upset with your child for not passing his gang initiation? Talking about he ain't going to never be nothing. What? What? You want your son in the gang? Boy, you, you're trying to raise a thug. Number 10. Oh, Lord Jesus. I, you know what? Make that make sense. Why are you studying to be a Muslim and sitting on your couch reading the Quran while eating pork skin? Yeah, what? That don't make no doubt no sense. Don't you know pork and Muslims don't, they, they, they don't go together. So you starting to become a, 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 a Muslim, you reading the Quran, but you eating a big bowl of pork skin. You know what? Make that make sense. Number 11, make that make sense. Why is it you believe in using secondhand condoms because you figure, well, they've already been tested and they've proven to work? You know what? They've been tested and proven to work. You nasty. <laughs> okay, I'm done with that one. <laughs> Number 12, make that make sense. Why are you still making payments to rent a center after six years for a VCR? You know what? Newsflash, they don't even, <laughs> they, don't even sell, they, ain't, they ain't selling VHS tapes no more. What you doing? What are you doing? Stupid. You didn't pay over $7,000 for a doggone VCR. What the? Lord Jesus. Again. <laughs> I just want to be a blessing and not a curse. Woo! Well, you guys, I I really thank you guys. I thank you so much for joining me for another Sunday with Nuts with Dre. I've enjoyed every moment. I feel so good being able to just help you all out. Because a lot of y'all was just out of order. And I just know I've some way, somehow, helped you realize you're out of order. So now you can do what? Get in order. And now some of y'all were straight thugs. Some of y'all were just living the thug life. Some of y'all really thought that heaven had a ghetto. But I'm so glad I was able to point that out. No, it don't have no ghetto. And quit thugging. Do things the right way. Be decent and in order. So that's in the Bible. And I tell you what, last but not least, I'm so happy that I was able to show y'all some, something that was, you know, foreign to you. Something that was, you know, out of the out of the norm for you, something that made sense. When you made no sense, I have to see that it made no sense because it don't make sense to me. So how can it make sense to you? That's stupid. See, I just lifted the stupid off of some of y'all. I just brushed your stupid off. <laughs> I took a shot back and vacuumed all the dumb out of you. <laughs> You're welcome. Now what I like to do is I like to take this opportunity to close us out with a prayer like I always do. So I'm going to ask you to please, please bow your head. All heads are bowed. All eyes are closed. Unless, of course, you're blind, then uh, it really don't matter, does it? I mean, seriously, if you're blind, really, for real, come on. Oh, Lord, we thank you for another edition of Sunday with Nuts with Drake. 
We thank you for another opportunity to come together and find faith and fellowship. We thank you for making a way out of no way. Thank you for opening doors that no man can shut. We thank you for loving us more than we can ever love ourselves. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because you just keep on doing for us. You you provide food for us when we're hungry. Transportation for us when we're walking. Mm-mm-mm. Light in the darkness. Matter of fact, that reminds me, I got to go and get some candles because this is the second time in four months and cut my doggone uh, lights off. Hmm. Well, I better go get some candles. Uh, but most of all, I just thank you, Lord, because you're just, you're so good. You're so sweet. The Lord, as we depart from this Sunday with not, we ask that you will always remain in our presence, keeping us forevermore. These are the blessings we ask in your holy name. Thank you. Amen and amen. Now, you all, you all take care. And I'll see you next Sunday. It'll be more nuts and, of course, more Dre because I'm getting ready to eat. So I'm getting a little weight. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. If you try, I'm telling you, I hurt you bad. I'm telling you, I hurt you bad. I slapped you so many times, you begged me to ball my hand up to make a fist. I care about you that much, and my love hurts. Believe me. You all take care, and I'll see you next Sunday. And I can't wait. I'm missing you already. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to throw a bigger rock at you. <laughs> you all have a great night. Good night. Stop the violence movement, baby. Yeah. I mean, for real. It's just too much unnecessary killing out there, you know. It's a shame, you know what I mean? This ain't no McLean. I see you, baby. Ricky Craig Brooks. Soldier. <laughs> Stand up. It's outreach ministry. Don't do it. Straight out of prison. Don't do it. Twilight zone, tales from the dark side, eyes closed trying to see from the far side, live by the sword, then you die by the sword, too many you and me now lie in the morgue, parents giving up, not trying anymore, so many tears that they can't cry anymore, plenty more, hot heads want to show all bullets hot, we know sounds blood loss, make it lose all, now I'm aggravated, community separated, devastated education, ain't even elevating the youth, Hating the truth, you ain't in the mood, you breaking the rules on the east side, west, north, south side, to a peace sign, heaven on earth where nobody on the street died, be crying, so I pray to the knuckleheads, and I don't trust the dead, this is what I feel, and now I'm in the inner city, it's a pity, dying in the street, everybody back in the heat, so peace up. I seen the whole head turned in the south guy. He can't see straight like they all cross eyed. The one live by the gun, most of y'all die. Committing genocide now, it's time to all ride. Fake thugs, so he use him as a foul guy. Cause he'll wanna be, one day he gonna see. His own funeral and tears from his mama cheek. No Grammy speech, but watch his Grammy preach. All the goals in life that he plan to reach. When you forget me, Brian, remember. Prison time, it's a thin line where it lies within your mind. And what you see ain't always what it is. And it's a mess like a hallway full of kids. When drama comes, you always in the mix. It is what it is, but y'all ain't seen it. Now I'm in the inner city, it's a pity. Dying in the streets, everybody back in the heat, so peace up. Children tripping, riding, 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 playing cops and robbers. All y'all can dive and all y'all can fly. Young guys is trying to make us instinct, separate like instinct, drinking too much ginseng, dancing. Each one, each one, leave none. The reason we grieve and we trade for peace. We must succeed, believe we can achieve, be free from disease. The enemies in the streets, deep beating the beast, increasing the peace to 60 degrees. I'm dreaming the king, achieving the dream. Down. Enough is enough now. It's hard to love growing up in a rough town. Touchdown, we scored. Give it up.
Back in the heat, so be 